Today, Adam Renus and I team up with Kurt Reef, owner of PK Lures, to test out some of his featured product targeting eater walleye on the Missouri River near Pollock, South Dakota. If you love pulling live bait, you may want to stick around to see how these products are changing the game on how we fish open water to trigger those predatory instincts and put fish in the box. If you're watching on any social media, hit that like, follow, subscribe, and then go check out PKLure.com for a full lineup of both open water and ice fishing products. Yeah, oh my lord, watch me sway, darkness falls and we all pray, hoping for the light of day, down to the river, I have held the devil's hand, felt the weight of my own sin, burdened by the heart of man, down to the river, down to the river. start off with today is the PK Reef Rig. We have a small blade. Um, I'm going to go with a silver metallic. It's going to have a lot of flat in the water. And um, we're using the JT92 snare rod. I love these things, how they just load up. Um, you can watch the fish bite the pole. And as it sets itself, you don't need to really set the hook or anything. Just grab it, keep it, keep it tight. Uh, we're using a 10-pound Power Pro line. And uh, we're going to be fishing probably about that 15 to 18 feet of water. So we're going to pair it with an ounce and a half bottom bouncer. And basically just let this thing fall, hit the bottom, and uh, put it in the rod holder and wait for a fish to bite. We had it really dialed in a couple years ago when the water was higher. But now the water dropped and all of our key spots are out of water. So the fish are still here. They're just, they have a different pattern. We haven't really dialed it in yet. Back one. Fish. Mm, might not be too bad. You need a net holder. No. Sure, he's staying down like one. He's staying down though. I can meditate. Nicer fish though. Real nice fish. <laughs> Salt 19. This time of year, again, we're in uh, middle July. Traditionally, I'm going to pull a spinner about 0 0.7 to 0 0.9, a little on the slower side, but as things heat up in the summertime, fish are getting a little more, a little more aggressive. So what I like to do is pull a little faster. I can cover more ground, and I can pick the active fish out of the schools. So I'm going to pull about that 1.1 one, one to 1.3, one, which is traditionally kind of fast, but it's been working for me where I'm getting the more active fish to strike. That's the PK Reef Rig Antifreeze color. Antifreeze color. Just a small blade. A little spinner on it. Old beads. That's a slow death. Slow nice. death hook, isn't it? This one was. 16, 17, that's, it. that's the new one, isn't it? <laughs> that's your new lure. It's my new lure. It's got a rhino chamber in the float, so it makes a little noise as that float just shakes it around. These old timers just watching us over here. <laughs> We're gonna start off pulling spinners. It's been a kind of a spinner bite around here. We got the PK Wobbler, Dakota Disc, and Reef Rig. We're gonna tie one on each line, see what the fish decide to bite on today, and then slowly go that way. Well, we couldn't ask for a better day. No. Yeah, we have to come up. Short notice too, you know. It's all right, now we can, should we turn and go back towards the guys? The good spot's up here. Oh, it is, okay. The good spot. We haven't got to the good spot yet. <laughs> South Dakota is really big on, well, everybody is now. It's just drain that plug when you travel. And... Oh, I like that hook. With that little extra lip on it. Right. And we've had a snag on it, and it didn't bend or nothing. So that's, that's something about it, too. It's, a, it's not only a good hook, it actually works, but it's strong. Yeah, but that's got to hold your crawler where it needs to be. Exactly. Because they're a different action that way. I mean, I pull spinners all my life. I love the slow turn hook. Here's another fish right here. But half the time it's on the very bottom of the hook falling off. Just like that you hooked in, huh? That's I'm a better fish. Oh, on his way now. 
that say head shakes like a walleye, but I want to, oh, what is that? You got a kitty cat? That was definitely a white belly. Came to the surface kind of funky. This area we're fishing here out of Pollock, South Dakota is the northern part of Lake Oahe and traditionally there's a real good bite here. With the high water, fish are staying around longer. There's more vegetation for them to hang out, more bait fish, and uh, it's a, just a real solid bite. So I got a hold of you to come up here and let's film a show. And things, things worked out pretty well for us. And players is right here. It's crazy how they get all that slime everywhere, isn't it? Yeah, fun, right? <laughs> We don't ask for much. Yeah. Nice perch. All right. We've got a lot of perch out here that are probably 12 inches, which is a good perch. This guy's probably 10 or so, but how do you get big out here when you got these big pike, these big walleye? And you're just a little perch swimming around with a big fish. Most anglers are, it's hard to get them to try something new. Uh, we got some new open water products. It's not like what you grew up. It's not like your dad's tackle box. Our stuff is unique, it's different. These fish haven't seen it. That's what makes this stuff work probably as good as it has because fish haven't seen it. I always stress that, give us a shot, try it on. I know if you're using your favorite lure, you can pull for six hours. If you don't get a fish, you think the fish just aren't biting. That's not the case. Give our stuff the same time you give your favorite lure and see what happens. A lot of anglers, say our age, you know, 30, 40, 50 years old, they have a confidence lure and they're not willing to switch. They have what they like, they're gonna use it. It's always worked for them in the past and I don't blame them. And uh, our spinners are something different. They, they're, they aren't like anything else out there. So I like to target these younger generation that don't have a full tackle box and put them on our stuff and that's who's really pushing, pushing PK right now is that younger group of, of they're pretty excited about it of anglers yeah and they're, and they're, they're excited, excited about, about it. it yeah there we go there's a good one younger kids come up and they'll talk about it but these older fishermen all they hear about is what happened to them 10 years ago we fish with what we're confident in a netter he's a good one that green's been catching our better fish <laughs> this green has been really good Really, really good. Here's a nice typical Lake Hawaii, probably a, you know, a little better than the 16. I've been not just setting it in the rod holder, I've been working it. You got another one over here, yep. Adam. Try to get this foot back away. Need help I'm over there? Let, let Adam reel him in. He's here, I'll take this one from you. That's another one of those reef rigs. I think that's what they want today. That's a little nicer one too. Another matter. I'm going to mark this waypoint. I got nice it. Fish. Hang on, keep them in the water. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Oh, look at that. Perfect. perfect. Yeah. Short bite. This is that silver Two box fish back to back. Yeah. <laughs> I want to make my stamp on the fishing industry, and this is how I can do it. Um, I like to fish the NWT. Uh, I'm a tournament angler. Um, I like to go against the best anglers in the country. But the twist is I like to use it using my product. I'm not going to use it solely, but I'm going to run a PK on my line at all times. And the idea is I'm going to connect the dots at these tournaments with PKs, making the product better, going to different bodies of water, understanding how fish respond, different colors. Uh, what works on Lake Oahe doesn't necessarily work up on Green Bay or say Lake Erie. So going to different bodies of water, I get to learn different techniques and bring that home to produce a better product. Um, I'm out here hands on trying to make the best product we can and keep it affordable. So are you picking up how many spinners on this? I'm just picking up one because uh, my cone is so limited because I'm only fishing 20 feet down. What, uh, which one are you picking one. up? Right here. Yeah. Get a touch bigger. Uh, probably maybe a cat. That's a better one. Yeah, it is. Get him over here. So we can knock it right off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that. 17, fell off. 17, 18, huh? That's a solid fish. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. 
that was perfect. It's on that green, that green PK again. That's what caught the other big one too. Yes, it is. You want to crack that live well? On the Dakota disc and the reef rig, pulling them that one one to one three, you're getting the best action out of them. You can pull them slow, like 0.7, or you can pull them as fast as two mile an hour on any kind of line twist. But that one one to one three, in my opinion, works best for the action that those lures produce. There we go. This feels a little heavier. Oh, and stand it up. Need the leverage. Or I'm uh, hooked on to something yeah, else. Yeah, I'm just going to place that one in, avoid the mess. I'm going to run the boat. You want me to do it? Yeah, we got a mess over here. Uh, Unhook that bottom on There ain't no satisfaction for me now. There ain't no satisfaction for me now. There ain't no satisfaction for me now. Now that you're gone. Now that you're gone, now that you're gone. Help, you got her. What kind of line is this? Rated. Power Pro. 15. 10. Oh. I got a netter over here. Yeah, that's good. Fishing again? Yep. Just going in now. See ya. Oh, that's a netter. That's a netter. Green one, no, it's gonna be a big one. Yeah, it's antifreeze. Antifreeze, nothing but big fish. It's on the side of Kitty Cat. It might be, because he's pulling drag now. <laughs> Only one type of Kitty Cat I like, and this is not it. <laughs> no. Northern. We got a big northern. Well, that's that cool. line's gonna be in the way, I think. Okay. Something just hit this one. Yeah, it's a bite here, I think. Oh, I got a fish. Oh, no, it's... I'm in that line. Oh, mine broke. No, we just spit it out. Oh, yeah. Good, we got... Anyway, I have a fish yet. And I got a fish. I didn't lose anything. Even a pike can't break okay. them off. <laughs> <laughs> now you got a walleye, maybe? This one's staying down. And you're eating. Cool. A little small, though. He shrunk. He did. He looked bigger under the water. Oh, I got one here, it's gonna hit. I got a double. Basics of bottom bouncing. We are using a JT snare, nine foot two, 10 pound power pro line. I love the braided for the sensitivity. We're using an ounce and a half bottom bouncer in 15 foot of water. How deep do you need to go? A rule of thumb, drop it until you feel the bottom. And when you feel the bottom, you can feel it ticking a little bit why you like a sensitive rod, sensitive line. If you're looking at your line down there at about a 45 degree angle, is about where you want to be to keep the bait right in the strike zone. I got a double. Good other. Boy, that beef stick is hot. I like it. It wasn't hot right away. <laughs> That's a man's beef stick. You wait till you're done eating it. <laughs> Another big perch. Ooh, Ooh that, that one, one we can save. Here's your 
your typical Oahe perch. Probably pushing 11 inches. I got two fish on my side. You guys got anything over there? We did. I catch and release that northern. That was a good one to get a Wanna pull that fish off? Give you a chance? Gonna drown he's been on her so long. <laughs> you can find PK Lure products all throughout Canada and throughout the US. If they're not at a store near you, you can contact me via Facebook, Instagram, Messenger me um, to get them in your store nearest you. If not, check them out at pklure.com. We're fully stocked. Uh, shipping's free on orders over $75. Uh, stop over, get, give us a look. Can you walk that one again? Yep. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Stupid catfish, isn't it? If it is not, it's a 19. That's way more. Way more. Oh, it's nice walleye. Walleye. Really nice walleye. You just had to come in at the end, huh? Yeah. Okay, it is 19, but it might be 17. Yeah. Right? We might have shrunk a little bit, but this is a good walleye. Your typical Hawaii walleye. You do your ending with that, Jeff? Yeah. I'll do that right now. This is the last one, huh? Yep. Yeah. We can practice fish, we've got 20 more in a live well. <laughs> well, this is what we came to Oahe to do with PK Lures, and wow, what a busy morning. It's 10.30, 10 right over hours. How many fish we've got, got a limit in the box, We've and we've caught four or five times that. That's pretty impressive stuff. I tell you what. For a fishery that's got numbers, the northern part of Oahe, right along the South Dakota, North Dakota border, doesn't have the pressure and it has the fish and they're aggressive. What a what a great midsummer bite. However, like every week, we run out of time. Fish hard, fish safe, have a successful season. We'll see you next time right here in Wild Dakota, where we're born free, we live wild. We're proud to be American. Fishing with PK Lures. Adam Renus, Glacial Lake Snowbird. Cool. <laughs> I got nothing now, I'm out. We'd like to thank Kurt Reef with PK Lures for introducing us to an amazing lineup of quality products that put fish in the box. Make sure to stop over to their website, pklure.com, for a great selection of both open water and ice fishing products. It just may be the thing your arsenal needs to help trigger your next bite. For accommodations in the Pollock area while hunting, fishing, or even traveling, check out Oahe Sunset Lodging and Steakhouse, featuring a full-service bar, full-menu restaurant offering award-winning burgers, and the best steaks in the area. Oahe Sunset Lodge also invites you to spend the night in one of their affordable, comfortable rooms. Find them on Facebook, Oahe Sunset Lodge and Steakhouse, Pollock, South Dakota.